Well, there are some storms out there, some rain in parts of the high country. Haven't seen any big thunderstorms out that way. Really, most of them have been out on the eastern plains. You can really see kind of a line all the way from parts of Larimer County all the way uh, through Lyman and even down towards Lamar. So we're going to start by zooming in here uh, towards the Lyman area near Agate. You can see right now we have severe thunderstorm warning in place through 530 and just to the north of that as well. This storm has been producing quarter size hail and 60 mile per hour winds. You can tell by these dark color contours just how heavy that rainfall is as well. So that storm will continue to make its way to the east and it may still uh, regenerate the, as it makes its way out that direction. Heading up to the north, you can see near Hudson that storm has calmed down just a touch. But as you head towards Loveland, Fort Collins and then into Estes Park, we do have some heavier rainfall right now and there is a little bit of lightning mixed in there as well. Down to the southeast near Springfield and Campo, we also have some bigger thunderstorms. These ones have not turned severe. So at least some of these haven't crossed that threshold just yet. A wider look at our satellite and radar one more time. Again, these storms are going to continue to make their way more up into the east and we're not completely out of the woods here in Denver either. Uh, taking a wider look across the country, hot weather. Man, it has just been so, so intensely hot in the Midwest into the Northeast. For us, we had a cold front work its way through that helped trigger some of these storms. Temperatures dropped just a touch and it has been a bit windy outside in some areas as well. Some of these storms still potentially could turn severe, especially in that northeastern corner. So still well into the night as these storms continue. Northeastern plains, you definitely want to be on the lookout. For our 4th of July forecast, of course, everyone wants to know what it's going to be like for the fireworks. Rockies have uh, their fireworks. Elitches will as well. And of course, there are, I think there's over 70 shows across the Denver area in the front range. Most of the storms will be to the east of the metro area, but there is a chance since there have been some storms around the area that we'll see some back building and maybe get some heavier rainfall and some storms just like we did on Monday night. So for the most part, we should see it clear, but there is that chance still around 9 o'clock for some of those storms. And then overnight tonight, skies will clear. Could have some fog out on our eastern plains tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon, a way better chance for some storms. We'll actually tap into some monsoonal moisture, so the chance for these storms to bring some heavy rain drastically goes up. We may see some of that around the Denver area and then really intense heavy rainfall possible out on our eastern plains well into the night. So there is a chance again tomorrow for some heavier rainfall, maybe some isolated large hail with these storms. So just be on the lookout tomorrow afternoon. Because of all of that heavy rain, we actually have some flash flood watches in place for southern Colorado, mainly along those burn scar areas. So it'll be nice to get the rain, but of course, when it comes so intensely, you have to be careful of that flooding. Still a bit windy from Fort Collins down through Colorado Springs and obviously very gusty where those thunderstorms are right now. 87 in Denver, 84 in Fort Collins right now, 102 still in La Junta, 80s uh, and 70s in the high country, 84 from our weather watcher John in Evergreen, 89 degrees here downtown. Earlier today, 93 out at DIA, 92 downtown and tonight we're looking at a lot of low 60s, upper 50s for the front range plains, 40s in the high country and tomorrow a little bit cooler, 86 for us, 85 in Greeley, 80s out east will certainly feel nice and for your five day forecast, 91 on Friday and then Saturday we are back to the upper 90s and sunshine. I know we're here, maybe we can see some.